Good morning, guys. It is closing day. It feels surreal. I cannot believe that we are actually closing today. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup right now, and we've got the new owners for our house coming over in like 15 minutes to do like a really quick walkthrough before we like sign on the dotted line. Um, and then we're signing on our new place directly after. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We just closed. How do you feel, Ryan? Relieved, ready to go. Relieved and ready to go and to go say hi to our new chicken. I'm so excited. Good morning, welcome to our first day. Oh, Louie, Louie. The dogs have to go into the kennel right now because we've gotta to go to the new house. And today is the first day that we are gonna be working on basically any painting, unpacking. Ryan just left so he can, he's already packed up a car and is over at the new house right now. And I'm at the old house because we have a solid week to be here before we have to be completely out so that's very nice we closed yesterday and started moving things over yesterday picked a couple paint colors and now i'm gonna head over to the house and my mom is meeting me there in a couple hours and i'm gonna start unpacking right now um and then we're gonna start painting as well this morning so it's gonna be a very fun filled day So I had to run back inside <laughs> because I forgot the painting stuff. We had a couple of paint brushes that I needed and um, I also forgot deodorant. <laughs> so I had to go back and get deodorant on. So now I am hopping in the car and I think we are ready to head over to the new house. So let's do it. I wanted to go introduce you to the chickens because we have three hens. I think we're going to name them the Dixie Chicks. We will see. But I wanted to just go say hi to them. I think Ryan and his brother already fed them this morning. I think they gave them an apple because <laughs> we have apple trees over here too. But So here are our hens. Hi babies. How are you? Did you already get fed something this morning? Hi. Where's your Where's your other friend? Where's the third one? We have a white, another white one. Oh, he might be in the hen house, or she might be. This is where they <clears throat> lay their eggs. So when you open this, you can look in and see if there are any eggs. Probably not. Oh, we got one over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think I disturbed her while she was laying an egg. <laughs> we'll leave them be for right now. So I think it's time for us to go in and start doing some unpacking. I think we're gonna start out in the spare bedroom and start unpacking some of the like bedding. We have a ton of closet space in here, as you can see. So we're gonna use that as probably like a linen closet. And if you guys didn't um, already see the uh, whole walkthrough of the house, definitely go check that out. I will link it here. Um, but yeah, let's get started. First level of blankets and pillows is in. And now it's time to move on to the next spot. I think we're gonna move. Let's see what's in my office right now. You guys, this is my favorite space ever. Look at it, hold on. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's so big, I can just do so many things in it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So I went downstairs and after I got done packing that, unpacking that one box and I've been working on this internet. So we have to have this rural internet because we're out in the country now. And this rural internet has been a time and a half for me to be able to get put together because all yesterday I was trying, I was on the phone with them back and forth for at least three hours throughout the entire day and still couldn't get it set up, went out to get this like little white power box, that thing, and 
it still wasn't working. Turns out I just called again and I had the, I had the cord switched. So <laughs> now it looks like the internet is working, but I need to work with this little guy, this little night hawk night gear thing. Net gear, night gear. I don't think it's night gear. I'm tired. <laughs> I need more coffee. Um, but now I have to work on trying to get this like established and making sure that the internet connection is good. So be working on that for a little bit and then we'll start doing a little more unpacking and then we're going to start painting this room right here. We're just going to go with like a really nice neutral light, like white gray, um, and just really start out fresh. Y'all, we got the internet to work. We got the internet to work. I'm so excited. <laughs> it was such a triumph. Oh, okay. Check. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start painting and cutting in in the living room. So we decided, well, I decided, <laughs> let's be honest, Brian does not care uh, about paint colors at all. So I decided to go with this color called Eider White. It looks very gray right there, but if you look, here, hold on. If you look closer, it's like a very, very light gray with a little bit of a blue tone to it. And right now there's like this very yellow, creamy color on the wall and it's just too yellow for me. So we are going to be changing that. So here it is. It's funny because on the can it actually looks a little bit more cream, but we're going to go ahead and open it up and start cutting in and seeing how this goes. So this is the color that we are doing. It is the Eider White like I was showing in that sample. You can see it's pretty i mean it's very neutral it's very light um it really is a very just off-white slightly grayed so um and we're going with the sherwin williams cashmere in the uh, low luster finish so i will um link this all below in case you guys uh you know need to check this out so whenever i paint and cut in i actually always use a like tapered like two to two and a half inch brush and i normally have something like this that has a little handle and i forgot it at the other house so today we're just going to be using a little chobani uh <laughs> yogurt cup um, that my mom brought over actually and then when i paint i actually never tape I know how terrible, but I don't tape because I'm a perfectionist. I normally honestly think that taping screws it up even more because if it gets behind the tape, your whole molding or your ceiling is just ruined. So I would rather be able to catch it before, like if it does drip or it does, um, you know, get on the ceiling, I'd rather just take a wet like washcloth or paper towel and just wipe it away right off the bat because I think that's just way easier and you're going to end up with a much cleaner edge. Now, I am also very particular and I'm very specific. I was an art major. I'm a perfectionist. So just know that that is also why I do not use tape. I hate tape. I think it just adds so much extra work. Too much work. So one of the things that we're going to be doing over here, which we're right in the other area of the living room, this little room right here, and I'll kind of like spin you around, is going to be our new master closet. And so right now we're going to paint it out. I just kind of started painting over here so you can kind of see. It's just that really pretty Eider White from Sherwin-Williams. And we're hopefully going to be making this into basically a custom closet where we will have this all closed off and we will have built in shelving and hanging space. And then over here, we will have maybe a mirror, maybe shelving down here. I'm not sure. And then more shelving over here. And then you walk into the entryway over here. So that's all going to be a work in progress. But today we're going to go ahead and paint it out. So it's just a nice, fresh start. So 
So the first coat is up. Mom is rolling. <laughs> And we are getting there. I really like how the color turned out. It's very nice. So we're still working over here and then we have to do a second coat on everything as well. So we are getting there. I'm loving it. Welcome to day three of our move. So right now we have everything pretty much all spread out between the new house and the old house. I'm currently at my old house in my bathroom. Here we go. Um, and I have some content to shoot this morning. So, and I'm realizing I have all my lighting equipment and everything at the new house and I have my like makeup and hair products here. So I'm like, can't, can't do that. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to pack up right now all of the stuff that I need to do for like makeup and hair and then go to the new house and do that and shoot my content and then we're gonna Ryan's already at the new house with a new load and um he's unpacking and doing that stuff and then I am going to finish this up in this morning and then I think I'm going to work on packing up more stuff here we got like a lot of the small stuff that's like in closets and in drawers so I think we're gonna be working on that today and then as soon as I get to the new house, I will show you how everything is dried with the paint from yesterday. I'm super excited. It looks so much better already from last night, but I didn't get to see it like all finished in like bright light because it was like almost seven o'clock already. So we have a full car load, including Louie this time. He's been, <clears throat> both the dogs have been at the house the past two days, our first house. And, um, <clears throat> excuse my, <laughs> look at my craziness. Oh my gosh. Um, but we, I'm bringing him today because I don't want him, um, in his crate. Tinley just stays in a room. So she has a little bit more like movement ability, whereas Louie stays in his crate still. So, and he's been, he's still a puppy. So he still has so much energy throughout the day. And the past two nights, he's just had so much energy. So I'm like, okay, we're going to at least let him come to the house today and stay out because, I can't deal with crazy puppy at night anymore. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna go get to see the new house and then we'll bring Timmy over next. Welcome to your new house, Boo Boo. Welcome. You don't have a leash on right now and we don't have a fence up, so we are not going to let you run wild right now. But we're gonna go into the new house. Ready? Oh. Welcome to the new house, Boo Boo. What do you think, Boo Bear? What do you think? Do you like it? There's so much space, isn't there? Get all the sniffs. You probably smell the previous owner's dogs, huh? Yeah, all the sniffs. Oh, I can go ahead and show you guys what the paint looks like, all dried and in daylight. What do you think? <laughs> it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Hey, Louie, what is that? What do you think, Ryan? It looks good. A lot better than before, right? Yeah. Much cleaner. This is what we're dealing with. It looks amazing, all the new paint. But what I did want to show you guys is tomorrow, I think my mom is going to come back over and we are going to work on um, just basically re-brightening up this white woodwork because if you look closely, you can see all the nastiness and like it, it needs a fresh coat of paint like it really does so we didn't notice that obviously until everything was out and we were like up close and personal with all the baseboards and they need a fresh coat of paint <laughs> I mean I guess that's warranted um the people before us were here for 15 years and who knows if they were already white before they got here so but it's already it's just so much brighter and cleaner already and if we do that bright white new coat that's going to freshen up the place and then i'm also going to be doing a special video specifically on how we whitewash the new fire the fireplace because that is something that i'm not a huge fan of the color i mean it's very pretty but it's just not my cup of tea i want it to be a little bit more grayed down so what we're going to do is we're going to actually take some of these like 
kind of paprika-y colors and that have like these really warm hues and just whitewash them a little bit. We're gonna try to keep some that already have the nice grays because there already are some nice grays and beiges. Um, and we're gonna keep those, but we're gonna take out some of those paprika so that we make it a little bit more brighter and a little bit more grayed down, which is more my vibe. So very excited for that, but that'll be a video that'll be coming, I'm sure, in the next few weeks. So this morning we're gonna have our first hen eggs. So these are the eggs right here. We got four of them from the past couple days. So we're gonna make some breakfast sandwiches and have our first farm eggs. Are you excited? <laughs> so Ryan, Ryan went and grabbed some bacon and we're gonna have kind of like our own little brunch today. Lulu, are you gonna have eggs? Are you gonna have eggs? Who thinks you would deserve eggs, don't you? Good morning and welcome to day four. It is Labor Day and we are gonna be spending it moving. <laughs> We're hoping to, to have a couple cocktails this afternoon out on the deck, but right now it is go, go, go time. I think it's like maybe around 8 a.m. Ryan's just taking a load over. I just finished my coffee and am loading up my office right now. This is probably going to be the last time my office looks like this and then we go to the new office and I cannot wait to be in the new office. There's just so much natural light and there's so much space and I won't have to take down my like shooting lights at all anymore. I'm just so excited. Um, but yeah, so that's what today is gonna look like. So we're gonna get started and it's gonna be another busy day. <laughs> So today, Ryan and I have already moved over three loads so far from the other house. We're in the home stretch. We don't, we only have a few more treks to go and he's picking up paint right now. I had to get on my computer and work a little bit on some editing that I have to send in for approval for a brand partnership tomorrow. And then um, I'm gonna be starting to paint our master bedroom. So our master bedroom is like an absolute mess right now, but I will show it to you guys. Um, so if we go pop over here, right now it is this yellow color and we've got a huge, oh my gosh, it's such a mess. Um, yeah, so we gotta clear some of this out and start putting some stuff away where it goes. And then I'm going to, this is just gonna get painted out white. Um, it's, I think we're going to use the color snowbound. So we're going to use snowbound for the, um, for the wall. And then we're going to use for the trim. I think it's going to be extra white is what it's called. Um, because the trim color right now, it looks like it's potentially like it has no additional tint to it. So I want to keep it as true to color as what it is now. Our previous color that we used for trim at our other house was hold on i'll show you pure white so if you look i i don't know if you can tell but it does have a little bit of a like warm tone to it and i don't really want to warm up these all the white trim that they already have so we're gonna go with what um pretty much what they're already doing and just like brighten up the trim a little bit more. But this is, this bastard bedroom is pretty much going to be my project all day today. Um, I probably won't get to anything else because this is going to be an endeavor all in of itself. <laughs> so as I'm starting to paint here, one of the things that I do want to point out is this is one of my favorite things to use while I'm cutting in. It has an amazing little handle for you on the side. And then it also has this little handy dandy um, magnet that you can put your brush on when you so that you don't have to consistently put it like this you can just do that and then it stays up nice and clean and upright um, you don't then risk putting getting paint dripping everywhere so it's a much cleaner way to do it um, and then they come with these little liners I normally just get this at Sherwin-Williams when I grab my paint if I need more liners but the liners like that and then if I am not done with the liner or that color then I will just saran wrap on top of it to keep it all nice and not dry out I'm also gonna be using this. Again, it's the cashmere paint. That's what we're gonna use in the master to cover up that yellow. And this color is called Snowbound. So this is what it looks like it's from their extra white. 
and it is just ever so slightly a cool toned white. Um, there's not much to it, very minimal color, but it is ever so slightly darker than their extra white, which is what would happen if you didn't add anything. Pour the paint in there and I got a few dribbles right there, but overall you can see how easy that is. It's just so nice. I hate cutting in without my little bucket. I had to do it in here um, with my mom because it was still at the other house and it was like packed away and I couldn't find it fast enough and we needed to get this done. So I'm very glad to have this again because this makes my life so much easier. It's so much easier on your wrist than having to hold something and it feels more secure. morning it is tuesday which means that we have movers coming uh later this morning i think like around 11 and we are they're going to be doing like all the big stuff all the furniture and everything that basically we haven't been able to get because we don't have a truck and we didn't rent a u-haul or anything we decided it was just easier to let somebody do it professionally um and we've been moving all the little stuff and boxes and all that stuff so they're coming today they'll probably be with us for a few hours and then um oh ryan already did this this morning i have been so annoyed with this door that's on this door frame over here so it kept swinging into the kitchen and i'm like i keep hitting this door and it's an unnecessary door hey louie louie hi what are you doing what are you doing lulu i know dad went to the other house i know you're sad come on you're fine he's fine <laughs> Um, so let's see here. So yeah, he, Ryan took off that door this morning, um, like almost right after I asked, which was really nice of him to do. Um, and so I'm glad that door is gone and I'm probably just going to, um, if you look, there's like the little spots. So I'm probably just going to paint those out and then we don't have to worry about those anymore. And then I'm going to also hopefully this morning my mom is coming over and helping me finish up some painting before we have to get furniture in and so still working on the master bedroom taking away that yellow and bringing in just a really nice light white i guess there's no other kind of white it's all pretty light <laughs> um so but i'm gonna finish at least two walls with two coat two coats so that when they um come over we can go ahead and get the bed in right away I just don't want to have to worry about shifting that around. It would just be easier if it was done. So that's the goal there. And then I think the rest of the day, once that's done, is gonna be just like working on trim work and working on unpacking. That's pretty much gonna be the rest of the day. Um, it's gonna be a busy one today. But yeah, it's coming along guys, it's coming along. Slowly but surely. So as you saw, Louis was very upset <laughs> that Ryan left. So now he is acting like an actual child and he loves to be held like a kid. Look at this. Yeah, so I love to be held like this. Mm-hmm, because he was whining. He's like, dad's gone, dad's gone. Please excuse the craziness that is my hair and makeup right now. We're a hot mess right now. Welcome to my week. <laughs> So mom is gonna start cutting in. We've got like lights over here because we have no lights up on the ceilings. So that's gonna be a project very soon. But right now my mom is about to start cutting in. Um, not Well, not cutting in, but painting out the baseboard. So we already added our tape down here and um, to protect the carpet. And so she's gonna start on that while I finish up the master bedroom. And our movers are going to be a little late because we had, oh, because we are having rain today. So they were supposed to start at 11.30. Now I think we're gonna be like a two or three hour delay. Hopefully the storm just continues to miss us and we don't have to worry about it because I wanna move the furniture today. <laughs> So I'm just realizing that I did not <laughs> record later in the day here because I think I was so frustrated with the movers and that they did not come when they did not communicate well and they ended up coming the next day. So you'll see that they came the next day, but 
I was just very frustrated. So I think I just was like done recording um, because they didn't come and it was raining and I didn't get the things done I wanted to that day. But um, yeah, sometimes things just don't go the way as planned and that's moving for you, I guess. So we have now slept on an air mattress two nights in a row because last yesterday we were supposed to get our furniture in and it did not work. <laughs> It, it was raining all day yesterday and it's again raining today, but we're hoping it clears up enough this afternoon to be able to get our furniture over because we have, the, basically the only furniture we have is this and the outdoor furniture, which when it's raining, the outdoor furniture doesn't really help us a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got to work on that. Um, Ryan's out right now walking Louie, so you can see this. Let's see if you can see them coming in there they are so he's because we don't have a an actual like fenced in yard here so we're going to be putting in an electric fence probably next weekend because that's like almost number one on the priority list and then the other thing that i wanted to show you guys was the finished bedroom so we got this all painted yesterday redid repainted all the trim it was already white in here but um, it was really dingy and it had a lot of like marks on it and everything. And we're like, you know what? It doesn't hurt. Let's just go ahead and give it one like little coat to like, look at the makeup underneath my eyes. Y'all, I look like I got a black eye right now over here. She cute, she cute. Um, <laughs> let's go drink my coffee right now. Mm, um, yeah, so we redid the trim. It was yellow in here. I'll put what it looks like over here. Um, what it looked like before with the yellow. It was not, it was not my vibe. Um, and then we got window over here, closet over here. So we, I am here waiting for the movers. They just pulled up. You can see them right over here, pulling up and they're getting rid of all the furniture, taking it over to the new house today. And once the furniture is gone, it's pretty much all packed up. It's the end of an entire five-year chapter. So we, oh, that's a weird shadow. Um, so many weird shadows. So we just dropped the first load off. It, everything didn't quite fit in the truck. So we have a few more pieces left and are basically doing our second round and they're also going to take a few of the things that we just are wanting to take to like the dump and they're going to take it for us which is awesome and then everything will be out so i'll show you what it looks like it's crazy empty bedroom this was my office Completely empty except for the pretty curtains and light, which I still love. Completely empty. Wow. Wow, that wallpaper looks like a lot without the bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna need to clean up a little bit in here. We got a few things still on the ground. TV's gone. Yeah. It's empty. Okay, so it is Thursday, and today we have been doing kind of just like a mix of things, a lot of just our normal work. And then um, we went up, ran over to the house, got like kind of like the last few things that we needed to grab. And we're gonna go back, uh, Ryan's gonna go back later this evening and do a little bit more deep cleaning. And then we're gonna do all of our like kind of like final touches um, to make sure that the home is ready for the new homeowners. And it's just kind of, you know, it's bittersweet because it's the end of a chapter, but we're very excited about this chapter and our craziness because uh, there's boxes still everywhere. It's a lot. But right now I am going to put up our new shower curtain. So I got it from um, Target. Gotta love Target. And it is the Hearth and Hand by Magnolia brand. And so right now our, oh, there's Gooch Gooch. Hey buddy, are you taking a nap? Hi, me cutie bye. I love Gucci Gucci. Okay, um, <laughs> little Gucci break. Um, now let's turn this back on. I'm trying to turn these all on with one hand. Welcome to our craziness. We've got laundry in the bathtub. Oh, this is life. Let's turn on this light. Okay, so we just bought a white 
I bought, let's be honest, right? It had nothing to do with this decision. So it is just a white little um, shower curtain. It's got these cute little fringes on the bottom. So just really neutral. Um, and then I grabbed these little guys, these little, sh sh la 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 la. <laughs> these little shower curtain rings. Um, I think they were just really cute and I like the matte black. It kind of goes with like a little bit of farmhouse vibes, but I really like some of that um, matte black uh, type of hardware and I might be replacing um, in the bathroom into some matte black hardware. The silver in here is fine, um, but I think the matte black would just bring it a little bit more up to date um, without us having to really change anything. Cause like the light blue aspects and the white and the grays, everything else is just fine in here. I just don't love um, the silver hardware. So we might change that out and just kind of bring it a little bit more up to date. We're also going to be adding, if you remember from my old house, we had the LED mirror that really is amazing for makeup lighting. And in here they have right now, these guys and they're just like little medicine cabinets which they're very nice for extra storage but y'all I can't even like I can't even see my full self in here like look it's like this is my eye level it cuts off half my face <laughs> because I'm so short so those are gonna go away and we're gonna replace it with a really large LED lit mirror so it's good for makeup and beauty and everything that I normally am doing um, so that is also going to be on the to-do list and probably replacing these lights. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can, there you go. So they're, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just not again, quite the look that I like. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get this laundry out of here and start putting up the new shower curtain. Just realizing that this needs to be steamed because <laughs> it definitely has all the lines in it from its packaging. But I really like this. And I actually didn't realize it had these little like knots and like little details right here. So I think that's really a cute detail. And then on the bottom, it has these really cute little tassels. And I just thought that was a really nice little touch. And it's a very light kind of like linen-y fabric. So really cute and just really kind of helps to again brighten up the space. But now I need to steam. We got to steam those lines out because that's gonna drive me crazy. So we're about to head back to the house for the very last time and say goodbye to the house. And I think we just have to grab a couple more things. There's some boxes there and that's it. And then we will just be at this house. Um, Ryan's grabbing the cooler because we've got some stuff in the freezer. So we've got to grab that. And yeah, so the close of a chapter. God, I'm so surprised. I don't, I'm so surprised I'm being this sentimental about this because I'm normally not like this when it comes to a house. I'm so used to moving from throughout the years. I don't know. I think it's just, you know, one of those things that, you know, we moved into it right after we got married and we, like we just had so many, I think first in this house, we like, we really started, we started our marriage in it and we started frozen frills in it. And yeah, so, but on we go. We just finished up cleaning up the last few things, cleaned out the freezer. I had a <laughs> little mishap with our last photo for the spot. So I forgot the, on this, on the camera, there's normally a little bottom piece that connects to here on my tripod. Forgot it at the other house. So we improvised, there's our improvised tripod. We made it work, <laughs> but it is fully empty in here. And Ryan is leaving them a few notes because they're probably going to be by later tonight and it is officially theirs. How do you feel, Ryan? I know you're not sentimental about this. It's a house. <laughs> you make the home. I know, I know. I'm sentimental about it though. But it's a new chapter. <laughs> and then there's the backyard. Everything is just full on empty. 
I'm gonna turn it around and just kind of show you guys. So, we come through here. Uh, bedroom, full on empty. Empty, empty, empty. I'll miss you, Mir. You were so good. And then the office, the beginning of Friz and Frills. I'm gonna miss this light. I might have to get that light again somewhere because I still love it. Oh, but I'm and honestly, I'm so excited for the new office compared to this one. This one was just not big enough for everything I need with all the curly products. <laughs> and this is just one of the spare bedrooms. She empty. We won't worry about going to the basement. This is good enough. But yeah, this was a good house to us. Right, Ryan? This was a good first house? It was. It was. Lay that cute butt. <laughs> well, I cried. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the house. It's a good house to us. I've got all everything in here, but <sighs> Ryan's heading back and I'm gonna about to do the same, so this is the last bit of the house. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm being this emotional. Who am I? <laughs> Oh. Bye, house. Love you. All right, y'all. That is a wrap for week one. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Let me know what your favorite part about week one was. I'd love to hear it because I feel like we did a lot on week one. Um, but next week will be week two and three put together since we don't have quite as much that we were doing. We had to like, you know, do a lot more like normal work. <laughs> so um, we will be putting those together for next week. So stay tuned and I'm going to be uploading these. The goal is going to be every Friday. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon and make sure you like this video so more people get to see it. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.